spread a thin film of shortening on a clean, smooth surface. Roll out gum paste for petals slightly less than 1 16th of an inch. Cut 8 petals using the Peony Cutout C. Cut 6 petals using the Peony Cutout B. Place the petals in a storage board. Dust a thin or medium foam with cornstarch as needed. Place a small petal on the foam. Use a small veining tool to score the veins on the petal and then repeat with the second petal. Brush gum glue adhesive on the back of the petals. Wrap over the foam ball, overlapping the petals at top. Working with one petal at a time, place the petal on a dusted shaping foam. Use a veining tool to vein the petal, starting at the outer edge and pulling into the center. Use a ball tool to thin and ruffle the edges. Brush gum glue adhesive on the bottom half of the petal. Attach the petals to the base, overlapping each other in the first row. Once all the petals are in place, half to three quarters of an inch of the base should still be visible at the top. Move remaining petals to the dusted shaping foam. Vein and ruffle one petal like the previous petals. Place the petal, vein side down, in a small flower shaping bowl. Let it dry for 20 to 30 minutes or until the petal still holds its shape of the bowl but is still pliable. Repeat with remaining petals. Brush gum glue adhesive on the bottom half of the petals. Attach to the base overlapping each other with the tops of the petals aligned with the previous row and angled slightly out. The entire base should now be covered. Hang upside down and allow it to dry completely. Roll a 1 inch ball of gum paste into a 2 inch log. Roll out less than 1 16th of an inch over the groove on the impression mat. Using Peony Cutout B, cut the petal with ridge centered and ending 3 quarters of an inch to 1 inch from the top. Brush the side of the ridge with gum glue adhesive. Position a 26 gauge floral wire and press the ridge to seal. Place the petal wire side down on a dusted shaping foam. Vein and ruffle the petal. Let it dry, vein side up in a medium flower shaping bowl at least 24 hours. Repeat to make 10 additional wired petals. Make 10 large petals. Follow the same process using a one inch ball of gum paste, large peony cutout A, and a 26 gauge wire to make 10 wired petals. Let dry. Using floral tape, tape 11 medium wired petals around the base.
Tape 10 large petals around the base, positioning just below the previous row. 